Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Animathan Studios. I'm Jonathan, the head of the channel, and today I'm going to do a countdown of my top three favorite films. And when I mean that, I mean both cartoon and live action hybrid films, but I'm going to do this countdown of the ones that impressed me the most. So grab your anvils and mallets, and let's dive right in. Picking us off at number three, Space Jam. The outdated crossover of Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes set, which pretty much had the plot of a night commercial. As we all know, this film was directed by Joe Pitka and was released in 1996. Now, what I really love about this is that I'm surprised they were actually me able to make uh, pretty much a lot out of this, really, since they were this was a commercial turned into a movie. And also, I love the animation in this. I like how they use like CG and 3D specifications. And so enemies and effects, you know, to to make them look like real alongside with the live action actors. Now, there are a few things I hate about this, like Lola Bunny, like being sexualized and that's it does not create an identity, you guys. And also Bill Murray. And is it just me or does he like to be in every bad film during this 90s period? But despite all of that, you know, Space Jam is still a fine film for me to watch. You know, not good, but still a good day product of the time, and still day that time capsule nonetheless. Picking this off at number two, Looney Tunes Back in Action. As many of you know, this film was released in 2003 and was directed by Joe Dante, who I think you could say already kind of directed the Looney Tunes film. I'm looking at the old Gremlins too. Now, what I like about this is that, again, the animation is really great here. I think Disney animator Eric Goldberg did some of it, did this, and I actually like how he was able to animate it so well in the live action world. Again, the plot can be kind of stupid sometimes, and it does have a little bit of uninspired gags in it, and the Looney Tunes don't have as much screen time as they do with the, as the live action actors in this. But aside from all that, it's still a good excuse for funny enemies and then slapstick. It's fine for what it is. It's a pretty fun film for me to watch. And picking us off at number one, my absolute favorite. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Do I really need to say anything bad about this? I mean, any cartoon and movie fan likes this. I mean, what kind of fan doesn't? And as many of us all know, this was directed by Robert Zemeckis and produced by the legendary Steven Spielberg and was released in 1988. And there's a ton of things that I like about this. And like, um, Richard Williams and Mason, great. Casting, amazing. Character exposition, fantastic. Villain, awesome. And story, I'm just speechless about it. I just love the time and effort that they put in into this story and animation. I think it's a really great love letter to the golden age of animation. And those are my top three favorite films. Now, if you now if you have a countdown or not that you know that's similar to mine or not, you can leave them down in the comments below. Now I have a ton of this coming up in the next following weeks. So if you want to keep up with, with my following content these next following weeks, hey, you can hit that subscribe button up top. So guys, take care. I'm like the unsuffering version of Porky Pig. That's all, folks. Bye-bye.